All right, so I got everything in for my um, the dip kit, so I can dip all the plastics uh, for the uh, DY6 Ruckus engine. Um, I did trim the side pieces down a little bit because um, I didn't want on the other side uh, on top there's a spot I believe um, on this side here where the um, the in or the carburetor goes and I had to put a riser on it you know and, and it was getting in the way um, so I cut that off and I trimmed it down and it still holds in place with these bolts here um, so that should work. Uh, I am going to take it apart because this is two pieces right here, that one, that one. Um, <clears throat> this is the kit that I got by Dip Demon. Um, this is the activator for the uh, film. And that's the film right there. Kind of, it's called Green Flames. And this here I just got in today. Um, it's uh, called One Hit Wonder. It's a uh, the base coat, hydrographics paint, um, the, the primer, and the adhesion promoter all in one can. Um, it was like $15 for the can, um, and I ordered it from the website, but you know, it's like $15 shipping, so $30 a can. Um, this will be enough to do all of this, of course, and some more stuff that I want to do. I'm still debating on whether to do the uh, CVT cover. Uh, <clears throat> also picked up a couple other things, got the scotch Bright pad because I'm supposed to um, scuff it up and got some masking tape uh, for the film and I got some alcohol so I can clean it off. Um, also picked up a big tub filled with water and, uh, and we'll see if uh, how this turns out. This I've never done this before so I'm going to see how it comes out. So, I scuffed up all the parts with the, uh, with the Brillo pad, um, or scotch Bright pad, and uh, on these parts I made like a little handle to hold out of tape so I can dunk it, and I've already wiped it off with the alcohol and uh, cleaned it, so now I'm going to put a coat of this stuff on there um, and let it dry. All right, so um, I've got all the stuff painted, and I've laid out the um, the film. And around, I watched a couple of videos on how to do this, and some guys say to do it this way, some guys say to do it a different way. So I'm going to try it this way. Um, basically, I had to put some masking tape to create a border around the edge of the film, because basically, when you spray the activator, it'll kind of want to spread out and uh, so um, yeah you put the that perimeter border along the edge of the film and then it said to cut these little slits on the corners and on each straight edge and um, the uh, I guess the matte side or satin side uh, there's two sides to the film. The satin side goes down into the water. Um, now I'm going to fill up this bucket uh, with some warm water and uh, try it for the first time. Alright, so I got the bucket of water ready. Um, got the activator ready. And the film is ready to drop in. supposed to kind of drop it in at, a, at an angle to kind of get rid of any air bubbles that could be caught in there. I might have uh, 
screwed this one up because the um, if you notice around here it's too big it's touching the edges I mean over here on this area it looks good I'm supposed to wait 60 seconds hoping maybe I can stretch it out Not too bad. Came out pretty good. Now all I gotta do is rinse it off and then clear coat it. All right, so I'm doing something different here. Um, on the last two that I did, he told me to do, on the videos, they told me to do those little slits. Um, I found that once you spray the activator on, those slits tend to kind of move away or open up the film. So I just created uh, the border for the film, and um, I think I'm going to leave it that way. So...
All right, so here they are. They're done. I would say they came out pretty nice for somebody that's never done it before. Um, well, actually, they're not done because I still need to do the, um, the clear coat on them, which I'll do tomorrow. But I'll let them dry thoroughly and... Um, yeah, the only I guess the only thing that I've learned from doing this, uh, you know, is do not do the slits on the sides of the masking tape uh, because it distorts the uh, the image. This bottom part was done with the slits in the masking tape, and this part was done on top without it. And it looks like the top part, the image stayed intact as opposed to this one which kind of looks a little bit uh, fuzzy this one is a little bit sharper um, but overall I guess it came out really nice um, just kind of gives that uh, gonna give the engine a little bit more pop and a little bit more of a customized look like I say there's other parts that I'm thinking of doing um, I'm thinking I might do the CVT cover the aluminum one from um, the, the ruck shop and also gonna get a plas the gas tank cover, which I might do, I don't know yet. Uh, we'll see when it's all put together if I'll go ahead. I still have um, quite a bit of the uh, film left. If I needed to do a full gas tank cover, I would probably need another roll. I don't know, maybe this might do it. Yeah, I got enough for quite a bit more stuff. So yeah, it's really cool doing this. I've never done it before came out really nice and um, that's how it goes